What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Please Kill Me Please and the date today is the 27th of January, year 2022 Alright, um, so, as usual, we're gonna go through the events of the week um, and later we're gonna go to my you know, first impression of the new hero this guy, alright, Yu Chi Gong um, we will be summoning him tomorrow, that is definitely because I've read through his skills just now, seems kind of OP. But first things first, alright. Um, there's the treasure box event. We have 29 of this stuff. This is how you get all your unlocking mechanisms. Um, the hero unveiling. Uh, we're just gonna light it up right now and get our rewards. Easy, easy. Um, it's also the heavenly divination week. Perhaps we're gonna do a bit more spins. At least get one of these. Gunning, which we will definitely need in the future. The Smithy event, alright. Um, and the Empress Vault, which is this box and this box. Both, it's kind of worth getting. And yep, the next week, I mean, coming in about a few hours' time, it's our summoning event, which we are totally ready for it. 2100 scrolls. Um, so. Mm, there's also this New Year Lantern event, which we're gonna do it later. Okay, um, we're definitely gonna get this, which is the main reward, and this is a pay to win event. All right, you need to pay 41 ringgit, 42 ringgit. Um, we're gonna take a break right here, we're gonna come back with the next. Um, alright, um, I'm guessing we would like to do the first impression of Mr. Yu Chi Gong, alright, he's the new dark specialist. Um, okay speed, 1169, it's not too fast, not as fast as our previous assassin. Um, 1169 is something like Changxi, alright, um, 294k HP, similar with our Changxi, the attack and armor. YC has slightly higher attack, but what's important is looking at his skills, alright? So we'll start with the last passive skill, um, basically adding HP and attack, innate resistance. So when he's in the front row, he'll increase all those stuff, and when he's in the back row, gains control resist by 70%, which is pretty high. So it kind of means that he can be standing in the front line um, as a tanker. Okay, um, the second skill, it's a bit long, remember what I said about how long the skills are and stuff like that. So basically what I'm trying to say is the longer the skills, the more powerful it is because there's more lines, there's more numbers, there's more effects, there's more ability and stuff like that. So uh, basically at the beginning of each battle, it links two of their souls, I guess it's the HP and stuff like that. Um, when the connected target takes an uh, attack, counter attack, or mystical pet damage, the other connected target takes transmission damage. I'm not too sure what this is. It's a kind of new term, I would say. And okay, ignores armor and damage reduction, cannot be blocked. And when one of the target is controlled, the other connected target takes a control effect of the same type. So that's kind of cool, alright? And the control effect ignores control resistance from second destiny tree, right? This is a bit complicated, I would say. And can be only connected once at the same time. And after the soul connection effect is released for the first time, it will be released again for every 3 rounds at the beginning of that round. Well, it's really kind of complicated, but definitely this is OP. Alright, we're gonna see in action most for the next week. Um, fierce Fight, every time Yi Kong is attacked, restore self HP equal to 20% of the damage. At the same time, increases self armor by 4%, block by 4, and energy gaining efficiency by 2% for 4 rounds. So that's why I say he has some tanking ability and can be considered putting him as a frontline tanker. Um, 
So for his active ability, um, deals 350 attack damage with the enemy with the lowest HP, with the highest energy can be the same one respectively. If the HP is lower than Yu Qi Gong's, deals extra 350% attack damage. Alright, so that's 700% attack damage to a single target, which is kind of OP, I would say. Um, for the enemy, which the lowest enemy reduces the energy gaining efficiency 50% for two rounds. Um, for the energy of the highest enemy, with the highest energy reduces the energy by 60% and grants the ally of the lowest energy accepts self an equal amount of energy, which also means he messes with the whole team's energy kind of tempo which is I would say a new kind of thing, new kind of meta in this game alright but there's one thing that makes it not so OP after releasing the skill Yu Qi Gong will be backfired reducing his own energy gaining efficiency by 80% for one round alright um, so that's a bit of a setback but I guess it kind of balanced the hero out I would say but overall in one word, this guy is OP, but basically any new yin and yang hero that comes out is usually the meta defining hero of that season or that few months. And if you guys have 1600 scrolls, make sure you summon 9 copies of him. And definitely the whales of this game, the pay to win player is gonna get 2 of this Michigong or perhaps 3 of this guy. And they'll make sure that your team has no energy or <laughs> something like that. Alright, so perhaps he could be a good pair with our Mr. Jiang Zia also, which kind of has some energy relying kind of abilities and stuff like that. But we have to see it in action for real in the next week. Alright, um, so that's all for my first impression of the new hero. He's definitely OP one, yeah, and we'll go into the next part of the video. Alright, so we do have some divination stuff to do. Um, this is what we're gonna do. I think to make it even a nice number, what, what do we have here? Um, Alright, it's at 130 right now. It's a long road to go. We're gonna just refresh this for the sake of the video. So basically this is what I do. We're gonna spin until we get one of the four star fragments. Then we're gonna click refresh. I mean it's 20 gems. If I didn't have 60,000 gems I wouldn't do something like this. But since I have so just gonna fire away. Alright, we got the 4 star fragment. How much do we need? 70 more. Alright, alright. Okay, we got it in the first round. Alright, second round we got it. I think we need to do another 5 more times, that's 3, 4, and 5, whatever, okay, it's the last one anyway, so bam, gonna claim our rewards, what's this, um, so let's just double check, okay, we kind of overshot a bit, Mm, it's actually kind of worthy to do another 90 more just so that we get uh, this stuff It's kind of but yeah, anyway, we have 33 of this Okay, and um, we're gonna pop them. So basically the main reward here is the Mr. Yao Li Which is not very good. It just means that This is kind of dropping in the ranks of the hero tiers and stuff like that because normally the game won't give you an OP hero in 
you know, the unlocking mechanism thing. But I doubt we're gonna get a copy of him. Five Azure Pawns, nice. Scrolls, nope. The second best reward is definitely going to be the 10 Azure Horns or the 10 Scrolls, that's pretty dope. Honestly, they need to do something with the what we call Dew Drop because I've maxed out all my trees and I have a bunch of Dew Drops left. A few hundred K if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check. Let me just check how much I have 950k dewdrops. Almost a million. Just sitting in my bag. Scrolls. Nice. Nice scrolls. We always need scrolls. But right now I'm in the kind of the late late stage of the game, that's why I have so much resources. You guys can definitely get there too, if you have the patience and the consistency. This the worst <laughs> 10 wooden spirit slips. Alright, we have 17 more unlocking mechanisms to go. Mm. I wish there was a quick smash button because honestly saying this does not have anything to do with the brain. It's just clicking stuff. Two drops in. actually entered this space one two three this is the fourth time all right we got the ten scrolls most probably gonna come in another time and most probably it's gonna give us the golden spirit slip or the artifact or the sage decrease that's what I'm guessing Pretty sure we're gonna drop in the big hole this time. Alright, here we go, here we go. With eight more, maybe. Ten spirit! Oh. Nope. We got the sage decrease. Five more to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we have a very small chance to get into the big thing one more time. I mean the big wheel, right? I guess that's what we call them, the small wheel and the big wheel. Two more times out of three. Okay. Our luck can't be that bad, right? Alright, we are going into the big wheel for the last time. Told ya, it's the artifact. Alright, one last one. We are done. We are done for the unlocking mechanism event. We have 1900 of this golden spirit. Okay, let's just clear out the red dots first. Let's see what we're gonna get. normal stuff and what we do we need to do yeah we need to do this so I guess this the uh, special event of the week this is how you get your lantern mission all right so I guess it's just clicking stuff again so these rewards are kind of 
better than the one just now. That's 10 scrolls. Ruined Spirits. Alright, we have the Awakening Crystal. Oh! We can still go on. I like the Ruined Spirits. It actually has a lot of... Whoa, okay. So everybody's gonna get this, right? Because it's a kind of free-to-play event. So it's the last 5 of this. What's this actually? Elite resource bag. Oh, this is pretty cool bag. Alright, this is even cooler, I guess. Yeah, the what we call this? The awakening thing is pretty, pretty valuable, I would say, right now. Because of the awakening thing. So basically, we are done with the whole event. Yep. And remember, guys, it's the end of the week as usual. Do remember to complete your weekly quests. We do have two, almost 2,200 scrolls for next week. And yep, that's it guys. That's the events and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. And um, please subscribe if you do like content like this. And I'll see you in the next week for the big summoning event. Alright, ciao for now. Bye bye.